Welcome everyone to Chicagoland, or back to Chicagoland for race number 23. Ash Curtis in the 36th is on pole for tonight's race. Here's the full qualifying results, and let's take you to trackside. Here's the race command. Drivers, Darcher Engines! Alright, engines fired up. We are ready to go. So Ash Curtis in the 36, this 36 team is on a small roll right here. And the 36 has put up some pretty good finishes. Coming close to a victory, he gained five positions, putting up the seventh in points. A chance at a championship still very possible for this team. It's not over till it's over, as you know. Richie Hiroshi has extended his points lead by 16 points. Nick Holiday moves up as well as Casey Nanico, their second and third. Noodles drops the fourth down two positions and Sam and Ozcan gains a position back in the top five he goes. The biggest mover of the race was to, or after Daytona was Tim Randolph gaining him seven positions. Yeah, it looks like Alexander Rowe lost the most. He's down to 15th place, losing five. All right, getting ready to go green here at Chicagoland Speedway. This time under the lights. Pace car is in. Here we go. Green flag is out. And we're underway. Some three wide action in the midfield. Here's Stephen Oaks in the O2 looking for the lead. Four wide back there. Whoa, Des Holly nearly gets turned by Blazy Batar. Here they come for the first lap. Stephen Oaks just edges the 31 car as Des Holly will now take over. Into turn one they go. They're ripping through here to Chicagoland tonight. Here comes the 33. And he'll take the lead. Josh King in the 7 also closing in. Curtis in the wall. Way too high through 3 and 4. At the line, Blazy Batar leads that lap. Got two cars on the grass coming back in front of traffic. Light still green, no wreck. Nothing happened there. Here's Nick Wilcox in the 78. There's Hiroshi in the 66. He is now the man to beat. As Blazy Batar goes too high, he's in scrape on the wall. Hiroshi nearly gets turned by Chapman. Nick uh, Wilcox will lead that lap. And here comes Hiroshi. If he gets win number four, it's going to be super difficult for everyone else to catch up. Well, unless he finishes last in the next few races. Or somewhere around there. But he has the lead, but not for long. Here comes a four now on the inside. Don't go too high. Not a lot of grip on that high groove. A lot of cars in the wall. And the four will now take it. Here comes the ten. The past few races has been not good for the ten team. Had that big wreck at Daytona. Flipping over. He needs to get it back. He led the points for several races. Probably more than several races. Rowan King got together. Here's Tim Randolph in the 39, a 10 car comes to cover. Gotta lead that lap, gotta get that point. And he's gonna do it. Yeah, the 10 team has been slipping, allowing rivals to close in, dropping him now to fourth place in the point standings, currently tied with the with Casey Nanico. But despite with two wins and Nanico with zero, Nanico has the better average finish at 15.68. Still no wreck yet, but we've gone close a couple of times. Or come close. Ten will lead another lap. Ten's holding strong on the for the lead. Yeah, he's gotta be super aggressive. He's gotta lead those laps, get everything. But here comes the six, the eight, and the ninety. Another close call there. Down on the apron. Alexander Rowe now takes the lead. Here's Ryan Butcher in the 07. 27 scraping the wall. Surprisingly, we're still green. I don't know how. 
Alexander Rowe now to the front. Here comes the 8 now. Oh, the 8 and the 90 again. But they save it again. <coughs> Here's Cody Smart in the 98. He's in the third. Cody Smart still top 10 in points. And here goes the 8 car sideways. Smoke coming out of those tires. Another great save. And he'll lead that lap. That 90 car is pushing way too hard. That's a third time she's done that. And now she has an opening on the bottom. And she'll take the lead. Was really trying to wreck that 8 car. Oh, there's cars scattering. A little bit of contact. Car on the 08. Look at this. Five wide into turn three. Is it going to work? Some of them get through. A lot of cars in the wall. And no, there goes Cropley, Wilcox, Tasumo, Fisher, Cole Sampson. And now they wreck. And now we're under caution. Man, that was intense. Those first laps, first several laps. Just got the lap 10, and so nine laps completed under green. Kenny Johnson, the race leader, will take a look at the replay. So finally, these drivers get a break. Man, they were just going crazy. Everyone was super aggressive. There are five wide, but they couldn't hold it coming off turn four. It looks like it started with Randolph Cropley and Nick Wilcox. Cropley goes around, Wilcox comes up, collects the sumo. Fisher and Cole Sampson also wrecking. Big contact there between the 92 and the 47. Fisher hard on the wall as well. Only five cars for our first wreck in Wilcox into the 11 car. That destroyed the 11. Heavy front end damage for the 47 car to Sumo. He is done for the night, possibly. Right on board with the 47. That was incredible. Crazy racing all around. Yeah, there's a 92 just coming up. Yeah, he just slides, backs it in while spitting out. Yeah, I was expecting at least a 20 car pile up with cars flying everywhere for our first caution, but that's not the case for our first yellow. I'd be surprised if they get through without a at least a 10 car, 15 car pile up. At least one car upside down. Well, yep, there's our first caution of the night. We'll take you back to the restart. All right, getting ready for the green here. So three cars out, the 92, the 47, and the 11. 37 cars remaining on the racetrack. Kenny Johnson in the 68 has been pretty quiet these past few races, although he is holding pace a little bit. He only lost one position after Daytona. He's currently sixth in the points. A second victory would definitely put him in, in the car, or have him in the conversation. Yeah, a lot of these drivers, they... Yeah, they're top five, top ten in points, but they need at least a win or a second win to get them up there, to give them that boost. Green flag is out, and we're underway. Yeah, it's going to be slightly difficult. A win would definitely be, will make things a lot easier. Drivers like uh, Nick Hall and Casey Nanico, they may be second or th and third in the points, but neither of them has a victory. The gap isn't too huge. They could definitely do without a victory, but you want that extra insurance, you want those points, and of course, you want to win. No trouble. And a yellow comes right out. That did not take long, and that sounded like it was a big wreck. Kenny Johnson in the 68, the leader. Let's take a look at the replay. That was definitely a huge wreck. Ben Cohen in the 16. Let's see. Malik Nevins in the 9. He hooks the back end. He collects the 99 hard in the wall. Sam and Oskin in the fence. Cohen, he gets launched back into the catch fence as he lands on top of Rodriguez as Rodriguez goes barrel rolling. And he gets hit by, it looks like the 54, and that sends him in a twirl. Hits the wall. Gets back on all four, but then the car tips back over on his roof. Yeah, that was a huge, huge wreck. Nick Wilcox again involved. Jesse Williams, he didn't go airborne this time. But a lot of cars did. Three of them. Sam and Ozcan. That was very, very similar to his big flip at uh, Phoenix when he was running in the truck. When he was fighting for the championship. Yeah, he just he just gets hooked. Straight in the wall, head on. Gets gets into it so hard, just gets launched. Just or not really launched. 16 does. Look at that 16 car. He goes head on. Roof first into the catch fence. 
99. Yeah, that was super similar to the to the truck race when he was running for that championship. Yeah, he did not need this tonight. None of these none of these contenders did, or not all of them. Big contact there with Wilcox and Williams. That destroyed both the race cars. And uh, th three cars upside down in this wreck alone. Surprisingly, this came on the restart and not the beginning of the race. Right on board with Cohen here in the 16. Yeah, he gets hooked by Nevins and look at that. He just ramps off the 99, gets lands on top of Rodriguez, goes in nose first. Not roof first. I said roof first, didn't I? Take a look at that again. This time we ride on board with Rodriguez on the 23. There's nothing you can do. That's the second car this season. We had someone had a car up in the air land on top of somebody and they proceeded to flip too. Had that Darlington wreck, remember. Fisher in the 54 also involved again. What a wreck. Rodriguez, the Martins will win her earlier this season. However, uh, he, running, he is a mid-pack. Running in the mid-pack in the point standings. But yeah, so definitely not in contention as well as Nick Wilcox, Indy winner, last, and yeah, and so on and so forth for the rest, for most of the rest. So yeah, our second yellow of the night, three cars upside down, we'll take you back to the restart. Alright, getting ready to go green here. So that took out quite a bit, then Josh King in the seven with the valve. So our first driver with a mechanical failure, not due to a crash. 30 cars remaining on the racetrack. Tough break for Josh King. Looks like it was going to be a good night for that 7 team. Alright, so Kenny Johnson in the 68. The current leader. Lightning Blaze, Alexander Rowe, DJ Curtis, and Riley Sampson. Who won the first Chicagoland event. Here we go. Green flag is out. Back underway. Great start for Kenny Johnson there, but you know the pack is just going to close in. Here comes DJ Curtis in the 45. He's going for third. Not an ideal season for the 45, but it could be worse. Looking for his first for tonight. Or tonight. Yep. Also got Max Anderson, Eric Monaco also running close to the top five. And here they go, three wide for the race lead. Johnson still leads. Lightning Blaze in the middle, DJ on the bottom. DJ Curtis will take the lead, here comes the rest, Sampson, Anderson, and Monaco. Now closing in. Anderson the second. Three wide here, the 0-2 giving that six car push on the bottom line. Anderson can't block that, and look at the 9 car, he's just pushing his way through, he nearly wrecked Johnny Cox right there. He's now cracked the top 10, he's got to pick up two more spots here at the 08 and the 5, they get together. I don't think the 5 can afford a wreck here, he cannot afford to crash. Don't want to lose any more points. Although they did gain. 16 points doesn't seem a lot, and it isn't really a lot. Well, it kind of is. The 0 2 close to the wall, but he stays off of it. Here's Sam Curtis moving up slowly with Blazy Pitar behind him. DJ has the lead, Des Holiday second. Here's a 90 car, the fourth. Ryan Butcher currently in third. He's going to go through the middle. He'll possibly will gain a spot and then lose a spot. So he remains in third. And the 08 car again nearly gets turned. Close one there. Nick Hawley in the five moving on up. Hiroshi is pretty far back. Three wide, nearly four into turn one. Nevins and Butcher in the wall. Butcher gets off of it quickly. Nevins is still in it. 
Tight squeeze there. Look at the two cart. Whoa. All the way through the grass. Well, maybe not all the way. Close, close, close. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Right in front of the 27. That was a close call. 90 cars got the lead now. Here's the 48, the 36, and here comes the 10. Now he's trying to get his third win of the season. And you know it would be big. Bigger than the first two, possibly. Here he goes inside for third. There's Casey Nanico in the 34. Remember, he doesn't have a win, but he's third in the points. Hiroshi is also making his move. Can he get win number four? It's bad news for everyone if he gets his fourth win. I wouldn't say it'd be smooth sailing, but it'll definitely make things a lot easier for this team. Here they go, a four wide pass on the bottom, and they shoot up the second, and maybe even the first as Tim Randolph has it for a brief moment. Here comes the 66. The 1, the 10, the 45. Oh, Monaco nearly gets turned. Hiroshi will lead that lap. He'll gain that extra bonus point. Caution, and now they're wrecking. Leaders will race it back. Anderson has the lead, but here comes Johnson and Nick Holiday. Do we have another crash in three or in one and two? I don't know. Maybe, possibly. Johnson can't block that run. The five car is coming in hot. Four wide back there. Coming to the line. Nick Holiday. He'll take the yellow. All right, third yellow of the night. Nick Holiday, the leader. Let's take a look at the replay. Let's take a look here. So when you saw that one car come back down, there's contact between him and the 51 and the 51 into the 19. Looks like it was okay, but they couldn't get off of each other. So as Raleigh Sampson goes around across the nose of the 07 and then back across, collects the 08 and the 33. And then they collected the 10 car and the 45. The other two drivers that were in the, in the wall there. And Sampson nearly gets launched by the number 9 of Nevins. Oh, that 10 car just got a lot harder. DJ Curtis, his car is destroyed. Let a few laps. Blazy Batar, he is done for the day, as well as Nevins and Sampson. So Sampson will not sweep the Chicago Land races. Tough break for the number 19. Tough break for a lot of these drivers. Yet yeah, tonight's race, it could have been anyone tonight. Yeah, the 08 there kind of got away with the least amount, but he does take a big pound with the right side. Sorry if he's block our way there. And up in the air. Close one. Nearly did a front flip. Another wreck race car for the 10. Another bad break. This chance. Still a chance. But it's starting to slip. As Noodles. He has won the championship. Before in this series. Trying to be the first driver. To win two championships in the same series. No one has done that yet. In any series. 10 car looking... Looking to be the first, but it's starting to get a little harder and less likely now. But we'll have to wait and see. Still got four races, or no, I can't count. Uh, five races once we're done here at Chicagoland. All right, we'll take a look or take you back to the restart. All right, here we go. Getting ready to go green. 25 cars remaining on the racetrack. We might need to add a little bit more grip on that top lane because, yeah, a lot of drivers just lose it when it gets too high. Yeah, once you get high, it's, it's, it's basically no man's land. Even if you don't hit the wall, you lose a lot of speed and a lot of positions. No way you can fight that. Alright, here we go. Getting ready for the restart here. Nine to go when they take the green flag. Alright, we're back underway. Anderson and Des Holiday quickly jump inside into turn one. Here comes Kenny Johnson. Anderson coming in too. Almost made a three wide. If he was any closer, he would be three wide. And now they're three wide for the race lead. 
Cody Smart in the 98. Still in it, possibly. He needs that win, though. Here he comes. Joshua Cox, Casey Nettico, Alexander Rowe also. The 98. Will he lead this lap? Gonna be close. Yes, he will. He'll get that lap led. But he won't hold the lead for long. Here comes Joshua Cox in the 48. Trying to pull off an upset victory. Rowe in the 6. The 90 car there as well. Brad Chesson is also part of the lead pack. He can get his first win tonight. Another car scraping the wall there. Alexander Rowe in the 90 car. Again, the 90 car nearly spins someone out. Now he's hunting down the 6 car. That 90 just pushing in hard. Just not letting up. Justin, ooh. Little tap there from Tim Randolph. That might have helped him a little bit. Gets him up to second place. A little bit more calm now. Mostly just three wide. Three wide is perfectly fine here, Chicagoland. And the 90 car will retake second and might even retake the lead. Ash Curtis is now in fourth. Fifth place is Sam Curtis, but for how long? Not for long, I don't think. Here comes an Anico in the 34. Four wide back there. Four wide, a little bit iffy, but definitely doable. Careful now. Whoa, four wide again. Sam Curtis can't hold his line. Or can't block, I should say. Ryan Butcher in the 07, climbing his way back to the top. Nick Hall, they're going to put his nose underneath. The top two have pulled away a little bit. Things are getting dicey again. Ash Curtis, now he pulls to the bottom. You know he can't push for long. You'll overheat the radiator. There he goes. Curtis now retakes it. Come to two laps to go. Will we see a caution or will they make it all the way to the end? There's a two car, David Davison. He started last in tonight's race and went all the way through the grass. Not too long ago, or uh, yeah, at some point in the race. Oh, Noel Holiday. Oh, Ryan Putcher, Richie Hiroshi in the, in the bottom. He nearly gets tagged. All right, coming to the white flag. One more lap to go. Curtis pulling away a little bit. Kenny Johnson in second. White flag. One more lap to go. So who's it going to be? Will Kenny Johnson get his second win or will it be Ash Curtis? Cody Smart in third. Hiroshi is fourth. Tim Randolph. Maybe a little too far to make it two in a row. Ash Curtis in the 36. Cuts to the bottom. Cody Smart in the 98, they're not going to get another side-by-side. -side. Someone in the wall, but the light's still green. Not that it matters. Checkered flags out. Ash Curtis wins at Chicagoland. And a big victory for the 36, and they get it done here tonight. They did everything right tonight. They got the pole. They stayed out of trouble, and they win the race. Oh, man, this is a huge one for the 36, because now that puts it puts them in the fight I don't know how many spots he'll gain he'll definitely gain a couple a handful we'll definitely project him up into the top five for sure there's a couple of drivers yeah they keep on going but yeah all right let's take a look at the full race results so there you have it Ash Curtis the winner here tonight Cody Smart getting second Kenny Johnson third Tim Randolph fourth Max Anderson fifth Richie Hiroshi, a strong 6th place finish. That earns his 10th top 10 of the season. Eric Monaco, 7th. Brad Chesson, 8th. Stephen Oaks, 9th. And Des Holiday, 10th. 25 cars finished tonight's race. And here is the rest of the race results. So he had some big wrecks. But uh, not a lot of big wrecks. Yeah, I was expecting a lot more. The way they've been racing tonight was just insane. Yeah, they didn't wreck any more. I was probably expecting at least only maybe 12 cars finishing tonight's race, but no. Most of them kept them clean, or they just 
flat out did wreck. We saw that a couple of crazy saves, a lot of close calls. Did have that big wreck with three cars upside down. But that didn't take out half the field, though, which is a big surprise. But yeah, overall, what a race here tonight at Chicago Land Speedway. Ash Curtis gets it done tonight. So we know, yep, that's a huge one there for the 36 team. And, K and uh, Hiroshi has definitely extended his points lead. So it's a uh, hard, much harder time to see Nick Hall. A 13th place, Casey Nanico, somewhere where I can't find him. Oh, 20 seconds. So that, that's got to hurt for those two. Outside the top 10 and Nanico even outside the top 15. So again, full race results are... Uh, yeah, so that is it here tonight at Chicagoland Speedway. Let's take you to victory lane.